All right, hey Aries, so I am doing some Friday night messages for you guys, and this is going to be for those of you dealing with a person. It's not you, it's me. So basically that age-old excuse that uh, we've all heard before. What we're going to do with this is see what's really going on with this person. So you guys, you're going to know this is your read by your energy, and if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome 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 to my channel you guys all right so your energy i feel like you have a lot to say to this person but you're kind of holding back um being that hermit energy this is the first card out and it's major arcana so i kind of feel like you it's like i can almost feel you guys typing up a message to this person aries typing it up and then deleting it something's blocking it and it could be because Maybe it's, um, you know, thinking before you speak, maybe it's not, maybe some of you guys have actually tried to reach out to this person. Um, and if you haven't, there's a strong desire to communicate. Um, but it's almost like the reason if you guys have a message popped up on your screen and you go back and delete it, it's because you're, you're kind of thinking about your actions right there with that Knight of Swords, um, not trying to act in haste, um, not trying to overthink, not trying to overanalyze the situation and it boom, it pops you back into that hermit mode. It also could be too that the hermit card is here because you guys haven't really been dealing with friends or family or anything. You've just kind of been keeping to yourself. Um, and uh, what I'm going to say is not really talking about the situation because you don't want to be misled on advice. And sometimes friends and family members can be, um, not very good, um, um, advice givers sometimes it's like all we want is to vent and express our feelings and emotions um, and sometimes we just don't want that advice um, and people are always really quick to to give us advice that's pretty much unsolicited um, you know I just feel like who I'm talking to here it's hard for you to communicate your feelings about the situation with anyone because the advice is that it's like I just want to vent I don't want your advice and that's kind of how I'm feeling so I feel like for those of you that are drawn here, it's really because you can't, there's, it's probably hard for you to communicate how you're feeling to anyone. Oh, he or she's a jerk. Oh, they're just using you. Oh, they're just dumb. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's just an excuse. Um, and some of you guys probably have actually reached out to other people to try to get their opinions or views or just to vent and they give you those unsolicited un unsolicited opinions of what they, what they see and think and feel even though it's not their situation, right? So let's see um, who this person is. Who is this person that we're talking about? Who is on your mind? Aries. We have the Wheel of Fortune card coming through. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. And let's get one more to see who this possibly could be. Um, the Empress. So Libra energy. Libra, Taurus. Um, I, I look at that one with both of those energies. So basically, I feel like the person that's on your mind, you could be feeling like they're a soulmate. All right. Um, and it's kind of like the universe could have had a hand at getting you guys merged together with the Wheel of Fortune card. It could have been that you just met this person serendipitously. So at a store, um, just out and about bumping into each other. Um, I feel the Wheel of Fortune is a twist of fate. So unexpected meeting with this person. It could be that you unexpectedly met them at work. They could be a vendor. They could be somebody that passes through your job or works pretty close to um, where your location is with that Eight of Pentacles. Um, and with the, the Empress card, I just feel like there's a, a level of comfort, security, home, peace, love. And um, there's just, it's like... For you guys coming in to meet, you're just probably thinking, why why pull this um, situation apart when it, everything seemed so good? And I feel like that's how you feel about this person, um, you know? And, and that's just to describe um, who this is. But let's see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about you, Aries? Very, there's a, a strong um, physical attraction here. How they feel about you. Wow, there's a lot of wands energy, Aries. Look at that. You got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Okay. So I definitely feel like there's a, a strong mutual attraction going on here. Um, with the uh, page, uh, the page of Cups, um, 
I just feel like this is new beginnings, but it's also, um, it's love, it's youth, it's creation, it's uh, creativity, it's um, curiosity. And I just feel like this person looks at you with new a new um, lens, you know, when it comes to life, how they used to see people, how they used to see relationships. And one thing I want to tell you about this dynamic is you probably scared the person. And if you guys have been here with me, you know, um, I don't try to sound like a, a broken record, but this person, I, you know, it probably scares them. The level of, um, the level of attraction, you know, um, physical, mental, emotional attraction. You got the two of wands here and this card right here to me represents a deep spiritual connection. It's also just like, where do I go? What do I do from here? Right. Um, how do I maintain, um, this, this level of, of, uh, um, contact with this Aries, you know, um, especially when it's really, really deep. It's some people just run because it's easier to run than deal with the flood of emotions that come through. And on those spiritual paths, I just want to tell you guys, um, a lot of those soul connections come through as a mirror to, sh to and it's to, sh it's to start showing people what they lack, what they need to grow on, what they're missing and where they can elevate, you know, and instead of doing that, some people will run away for a little while. All right, but let's see what they told you. What did this person tell you as far as leaving? So this is um, the read that I do where you are given an, an excuse. Um, so we have the judgment card, the seven of cups, the ten of pentacles. It's like everything um, about you is on point. Every, I could see a life with you. I could see wishes being fulfilled with you. Um, for some of you, um, it's... It could be that this person, even though they've told you a lot of good things, they kind of retract back. Um, with the judgment card too, this is change, growth, it's rebuilding and releasing the past. So it could be that this person has a lot of a lot going on and a lot that they need to change or a lot they need to do in order to actually be in pursuit of the wish fulfillment. So what I'm feeling, that what this person told you is I have a lot on my plate right now. All right. And it could be too that they're dealing with stuff of the past. They need to get situated, whether it's work, it could be their home dynamic. It could be um, um, that they just left a relationship, you know, and it feels like everything is piling on top of me, the weight of the world, and I'm not ready for a relationship. All right. So um, what I see through this dynamic, Aries, is that this person does have a lot. Uh, what they've told you is they have a lot going on. Um, but they can see happiness with you. It's almost like they're asking you to wait or I'll be back. I have to go do something. I have to go take care of business. I will be back. You know what I mean? Um, that's just kind of what I see this person telling you. Um, I'm just too busy right now to take on this relationship. With the judgment card coming through, it could be that they're trying to settle something when it comes to a divorce, child custody case, or, um, you know, just trying to resolve some past issues before they move forward and seek out their wish fulfillment. But what I feel is right now I'm too busy. That's kind of what I see. I'm too busy to, to fully take on and engage in this. Um, let's see what their intentions towards you were. What were their intentions? Their intentions. We have the six of coins, which is balance, um, success, rewards. We have the nine of wands. So I, I feel like this person never intended to fully let you um, in. Not at the beginning. All right. They wanted to start the connection. Let's communicate. Um, it's almost like they had a goal in mind with you. So if you guys slept together, if they pursued you, took you on a date or however it went down, um, I feel like that was accomplished. But I don't feel like they ever fully let you in. Um, even though I feel like with the six of pentacles, their intentions weren't completely ill fated. Okay. Um, I just feel like they got what they wanted for now. Um, and I feel like that balance, um, situation comes through on their part, but I feel like they didn't fully engage with you. They didn't fully let you in. They didn't fully tell you what's going on. So let's see what's really going on with this person. What's really going on with this person. We have the emperor card coming through. The page of pentacles. So this person, here's what I'm going to say. The, the ten of wands. So when we get to the nines and tens, you know, there's that cycle over, right? Um, what I'm going to say is I, I don't feel like this person's being ill with you guys at all. Okay. They come through as a distorted masculine. So somebody that can't give you everything. I do feel like this person does look at this connection in a very, very superior way than what they've ever um, actually felt before in their life. Okay. Um, but the, the fact that the emperor comes through in uh, the reverse, because we have the empress, right? She came, she comes through in the upright. He's coming through in the reverse. It doesn't matter if it's a male or a female that you're dealing with, but this person clearly, 
um, is coming through and seeing the masculine in a distorted vision or they are um, coming through as a distorted masculine and and what's happening is is they're actually afraid it's almost like they're afraid to get something started because it's going to end like good things are you know um, the, uh, good, uh, too good to be true type of energy is what i'm seeing with this person it's too good to be true um, and that's where the distortion comes in and it's like no what you need to do is actually learn from the past all right so i feel like that's where this person is um, trying to sort out their feelings, trying to sort out their emotions, um, and and trying to actually see this connection through a different lens, through a different dynamic. Um, so let's just see. Um, let's see what the next 30 days is going to bring you guys. What does the next 30 days bring in this connection for Aries? Ooh, look at that. Communication and a soul level recognition. All right. Um, so we have another 10 coming through spirit saying this is not over with yet. All right. But what is going to be good for this and healthy for this connection is for you guys to release the past. Even if this person's kind of um, ticked you off, you know, and you're like, whatever, I'm done, blah, blah, blah. Um, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you can't doubt that there is this, the, the same strong energetic connection, Aries, um, that you both don't want this to be over with. All right. But what you're doing is you're clearing out old energy to make way for new. And that's where you guys are going to start communicating your feelings. All right. With the world card coming through, I feel like it is going to be a success. Um, communication coming through. You guys are able to um, clear up. Um any illusion, any uncertainty, any delusion. And I feel like there's still going to be some reservations here, but I feel like what you guys are going to actually realize, um, the biggest part is this two of cups. Um, you have the emperor, the empress, the two of cups energy all coming through. You have the will of fortune, which is a faded, um, relationship. All right. And I just feel like with this world card, you guys are going to close out some negativity so that you can move forward. All right. When one door opens, another or when one door closes another opens right so let's see what your advice is for now your advice for now the five of wands five of cups you guys could be seeing a lot of fives okay um but but look at you guys are coming out of this if you've seen the five of wands and the five of cups is coming through and in, in the reverse so it just means that you guys are coming out of um feeling maybe like you were strung along feeling kind of um, a little bit of uh, discontent towards this person i do feel like you guys are coming out of that and even if you don't recognize it now um i feel spirit saying you are going to come out of that even if you feel um that you're holding on to some resentment all right there is going to be a change in pace when it comes to this dynamic and the three of wands is your win coming back to you whether you want to be in pursuit of this or not which i feel like you guys for the most part will because it is a deep connection coming through um the sadness the anger the frustration it's all going to be eliminated um and you know if you can't see that right now i feel spirit saying you will see that all right so let's see what's um what initials are coming through this could be yours or this person's first middle or last a city estates however the initials or letter tiles might resonate with you so we have j and i and n and e and v all right, Aries, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take care.